Having to play an off roll in solo queue can put a serious damper on your climbing dreams. But in the pro scene, players sometimes just make that off roll their new main. Here are the five best roll swaps of all time. In the pre-LCS era, one of the best AD carries in North America was Afromoop on Monomaniac Ferris, Team Fear, and TSM Evo. His team never really had these solid results at tournaments, but Afro was constantly the shining star on these rosters. The Mooster was initially set to join Curse as their starting AD carry when the LCS rolled around, but when that fell through last minute, the roll swap to support happened and he joined forces with Doublelift on CLG to create one of the most iconic bottom lanes in the history of North America. That's gonna be Pobelter going down. Oh, yes, be way too close now for CLG. Triple kill for Turtle, looking for the Quadra. Not gonna get it that time. It's a triple for Doublelift. He's looking for Bjergsen! Afro would eventually become the captain of CLG when Doublelift left and helped lead the squad to two LCS titles and a finals berth at MSI. He also became the first support player ever to capture LCS MVP with 100 Thieves in 2018 spring. One of the most iconic support players in European history began his career as an AD carry. He went to the Season 1 and 2 World Championships as an AD carry for two different organizations in Against All Authority and SK Gaming and even captured the inaugural 2013 Spring LCS title with Fnatic again as their AD carry. It wasn't until 2013 summer that he swapped to support. We know how well that went as he would claim four more LCS titles as a support, helping groom Reckless into the AD carry that he is today and also handpicking the Fnatic roster that went a perfect 18-0 in 2015 summer. In the offseason before 2019 spring when rumors were swirling, that Caps was joining G2 and Perks was switching to AD Carry, it didn't seem real. After an incredible Worlds 2018 run, why would one of the best mid laners in Europe change roles? For a new challenge, of course. With arguably the two most talented players in Europe, not only did G2's new roster click instantly, but they absolutely annihilated the competition on the Rift. They quickly started reshaping how League of Legends was played with flex picks across the board, and one of the main reasons they could do this was because Perks played literally every single champion in the game, and he did it in the bottom lane. Marksman, mages, funnel comps, it didn't matter, the roster experiment worked to perfection for the mad scientist Ocelot in its debut split. Perks roster swap comes in at number three on our list for now. But in the years and splits to come, there's a very, very good chance this move will go down as the greatest roll swap of all time. I don't main mid or both. I you, main League of Legends. League of Legends? Yeah, I main League of Legends. Dude, this guy's a legend. <laughs> Back in Season 2, before Faker was perusing around the scene, Ambition was regarded as the best mid laner on the planet. He won the first season of Korea's Champions with MIG Blaze, and his squad crushed, and I do mean crushed, TSM 3-0 at their first international event at the MLG Summer Arena. Ambition also went on to represent the LCK at 2013 All-Stars, but after a disappointing 2014 and new OGN rules forcing Blaze and Frost to combine into one CJ Entis, Coco joined as the starting mid laner and Ambition swapped to the jungle. Initially, fans were asking for Ambition's retirement and the term washed up was frequently tossed around. After splitting time with Trick, yeah, that's right, G2 Trick, as starting jungler and missing out on Worlds 2015, Ambition left to join Samsung Galaxy. And it was with that squad that he shut up the haters in the biggest way possible. With their regional gauntlet buff equipped, Ambition and Samsung made back-to-back -back world finals, and in 2017, they did the unthinkable. The upset is complete as the kills come through! The SKT Dynasty is over! All hail the new kings! Samsung Galaxy, your 2017 World Champions! 
capturing the title and becoming the first team ever to beat SK Telecom at a world championship event. He was then the star of the World 2018 Anthem Rise, so it's probably a good thing he didn't retire in 2015. Old Man Score began his career swapping between top lane and AD carry on Startail under the nickname Joker until 2012 he joined KT Bullets as their starting AD carry. Score quickly became one of the most reliable ADCs in Korea and earned the nickname The Immortal for his proficiency in avoiding the gray screen. Score and KT Bullet's time together was highlighted by a dominant, undefeated run at IEM Katowice in 2014, including a 3-0 final appearance versus Fnatic. In 2015, when KT Bullets and Arrows combined to one KT entity, Arrow took over the starting AD carry position while Score swapped to the jungle. Not only did Score thrive, in his new role, but he quickly became regarded as the best jungler in the world and held that title for multiple years in a row. With all the roster changes and ups and downs over the years in the KT organization, one consistently shining light in good times and bad has been Score, and while he doesn't have a world's title, he was finally able to bring home an LCK title in the final season of OGN.